Hey friends, Nibs here again. I want to uh, do a quick little uh, video. Um, I don't see too many uh, videos for this type of uh, testing for lead uh, on the uh, on YouTube or on the internet anywhere. So I wanted to do one uh, so people would uh, understand how this works. Um, just casted up a couple of uh, ingots of uh, recovered range lead. Uh, different kinds of bullets. I uh, had uh, jacketed bullets and just cast lead bullets uh, all in this mix so it was a it was a mix match so there's no real telling um, what uh, what may or may not have been in there so um, <clears throat> but the way that this works uh, is you pick up a set of uh, these are uh, artist pencils uh, Oh, here you go. Uh, sketch, sketching pencils and it has uh, different hardnesses from uh, 4H which is the hardest down to 8B which is the soft, softest um, and uh, I'll post up I'll put in a little picture here in the middle uh, showing the, uh, the chart that I'm using for this uh, <coughs> uh, this test here and it really does seem to be pretty accurate. Um, I've done a bunch of other ingots and stuff that uh, really turned out uh, to be pretty close to what the pencil showed it would be. So, um, essentially, what you do is you start with, uh, well, I usually start kind of in the middle. So, I'm, you know, um, so I take a 3B, which is kind of in the middle. Um, on the chart, a 3B would be about a, a hardness of about a 10 uh, BHN, Brunel Hardness Scale, or B, whatever B, the N stands for, I don't know, but um, you can see I already did a little bit here, but so you, you basically just take, you want to have a pretty sharp point, but you don't need it to be too sharp, um, and you kind of scratch it across the lead, um, and then you, let's see this, you can, you run your fingernail, and if you can feel uh, where it scratched the lead then that means that it's softer than this pencil will and that one did scratch the lead so um, 3B so I want to go to the next one down which would be a 4B um, and uh, so now I do the 4B right next to it and uh, and that one just skates across the top of the lead so a 4B would be a BHN of 9 I believe so this is a little bit softer than I'm had been getting from other uh, recovered lead that I had, but uh, um, I do have some over here uh, in my pile of stuff that I. So I had a big uh, a big ingot that my uh, son had uh, picked up. It was a, a window uh, counterweight, and uh, it was about about 50 pounds. Um, I melted that down a couple weeks ago, and uh, those worked out to about a Brunel hardness of uh, 12. <coughs> I do have some other stuff here. I don't know. I don't remember where I got this. I bought it off of eBay, I think. Um, but this stuff actually worked out to a hardness of about a 21. So generally, uh, when I'm casting for my pistol bullets, I want it to be in about a... 14, 15 range, so this stuff's a little soft, so I'd probably throw in each of those together, and it would kind of come in between and end up being about a 14 or 15. It's not a real exact science, but uh, it gets you close enough, and uh, unless you're doing some serious high-end uh, target shooting uh, competition, um, it's going to get you where you need to be for, uh, you know, pistol bullets for even, you know, casual competition, but most of this stuff is just going to be uh, plinking bullets for older revolvers and stuff that I have and uh, and some uh, some semi-automatics too but um, anyway I thought uh, that would be interesting uh, to show you guys um, I don't know if I've only seen one or two other places where I've seen this demonstrated so uh, it was uh, it, kind of an interesting uh, subject I thought maybe you guys would uh, appreciate so if you did um, like this video um, and subscribe to my channel and you'll get uh, notified when I do post a new video. Alright, I'm going to keep it short so 
Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.